we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hello, hello, hello to everyone out there. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. So this is going to be a collective reading. So let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing each and every person that comes to the reading with a clear, concise message from you. So the first card that I pulled off camera just broke my nail. Anyway, uh, was promiscuity. Second card, trauma bonding. Third card, unhappy marriage. Fourth card, I don't do well in one-on-one -on -one connections. All right, so it looks like so spirit, God, universe wants us to understand unholy connections, okay? And getting into those connections. If you were not prompted, if you were not, if you didn't go to your God and ask, if this person is for me, um, then you probably are in some type of unholy connection because all of us in this lifetime are suffering with some level of trauma. Now, as you see, some other people's trauma, drama can be bigger than yours or vice versa, but everybody's got some type of trauma in which it, it then in turns, it has us to be promiscuous has us to be promiscuous <laughs> meaning that we just don't ever finish anything we don't ever we start things we do not finish and we hop to the next right and that's why you get a lot of people who just can't do well in those one-on-one -on -one connections because they haven't healed the trauma and you've got people marrying so now they're going to stamp marriage onto some unholy um some uh un some uh unequally yoked type of connection here where there is um, someone dealing with promiscuity um, not being able to um, maintain a connection here let's see what else do we have what is going on now this can be for you can be for someone around you yeah we've got the knight of wands or just somebody that just is still forever on conquest could be Sagittarius could have Sagittarius in your chart the Emperor is somebody who will have someone at home but they'll also go looking for someone else and then we got the lovers yes yeah, somebody that's seeking some type of sexual connection somebody who can't choose the soulmate twin flame union because they've got trauma unhealed trauma and they're promiscuous and they just know I can't do well on some one-on-one -on -one connection because I don't even know how to. I haven't healed this. Um, we've also got um, people here getting in marriages, stamping marriage on unholy connections here when they're really in that energy of promiscuity and, and trauma bonding, okay? Who, um, there's also some people who like to get with people who have some level of trauma. And they like for their trauma to be bigger than theirs. So it's like... Um, 
you know, a war of the trauma. Like, no, no, no. Well, your mama dumped you in the garbage can when you was a baby. All that, you know, it was just that my parents didn't pay enough attention to me. It's like you got people who will get with other people and they will kind of um, play off of or play up to the other person's trauma. Or, or you've been sexually abused and I wasn't, so I'm better than you. Even though, you know, you both are, you know, bonding in that trauma. And also keep in mind when the trauma is gone, most people, they find themselves in an unhappy marriage. Or if the trauma doesn't leave, but somebody's tired of dealing with the trauma and the drama of a, of a relationship, they find themselves in an unhappy connection. And then they find themselves maybe going outside of the connection and not doing well in that marriage or that relationship. And it's all the stem of unhealed individuals, you and I, you know? You have the three of swords. You find yourself, you know, um, going, stirring up trouble in your relationship or allowing a third party to stir up trouble because you're extremely unhappy, discontent, and maybe even bored. This could be you. It could be someone around you. But this is the basis. This is the soup. This is uh, the main ingredients in the soup of, um, you know, Relationships that don't last, third party situations. People got with people for wrong reasons. Bonding over trauma. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles, um, staying in something just because, hoping that it will change, um, trying to make something out of nothing. You know, you knew you got with this woman or this man, it was only for money or sex, and now a baby is involved or whatever. And then now it's like, okay, well, we, I guess we have to make it work. But you got somebody here who doesn't do well on one-on-one -on -one connections. Yeah, the ancestors, the judgment card. Eventually, you're going to have to come to some judgment make, and make a decision here and either be done with this person, be done with this relationship, and heal your trauma, or you have a life of you know, promiscuity. Many starts, no finishes. What else do we have here for this reading? Yeah, carnival, so ascend, go higher, seek God, seek God in all of your doings, um, you know, um, graduate, mature, and that's what we've got a lot of people needing to do, those in relationships and those who are just running around and being, promis uh, being promiscuous. Let's see, what else do we have? Um, T. Bonage. So we got the temperance card. Some of you need to get your life in order, okay? Um, or you're dealing with someone who needs to do that. The seven of wands, yeah, you need to get your life in order. This is also like mitigating maybe like um, sexual activity. So you need to kind of be moderate on that. Don't always lead with sexual activity. And then we have the Knight of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles. So, so we got somebody here who's in a marriage, maybe because it's wealthy or there's wealth associated with it or there's stability associated with it, but they're going outside of the connection. They're committed to the legacy, the empire, the money, but they also have a sexual activity, um, meeting new people and um, starting new relationships outside um, of their marriage. Then you've got somebody here who just meets new people, have sex with them for a little bit, have the relationship going for a little bit, and they've been doing this for a lifetime, too long, they're too old, and they need to temper themselves and get their life in order. Okay, so my camera has just exhausted. I think that's the end of the reading. Thank you for being here. If you wanna get your own reading done, go over to the website and book your reading there. This was just a little guide into the tarot and also why some of these relationships just do not work. It's the unholy union of trauma bonding, okay? So take care. All links are below. Again, many blessings to you. Talk soon.